There are two kinds of pain. The sort of pain that makes you strong, or useless pain. The sort of pain that's only suffering. I have no patience for useless things. Netflix's hit series House of Cards is a metaphor in many ways for Greece and its pivotal role inside the Eurozone. From the outside, the structure looks whole, complete and cohesive. But look further inside and that's where the weaknesses lie. Make one wrong move and the whole thing can come tumbling down. But as European leaders try to shore up the currency union, Greece is locked in a deadly battle with its creditors. As Kevin Spacey's character would say... Friends make the worst enemies. What is required between Greece and the Eurozone is not a standoff, but a solution. We're 18 Euro countries which have uh, commitments, and then uh, there's Greece which has demands. I'm very confident that all together we can find a mutually viable solution. Until that solution is found, several cards could shake Greece's financial foundations. The country faces a total repayment to the IMF of 8.7 billion euros before the year's end. It has a further two repayments to the ECB of 3.5 billion euros for July and a further 3.2 billion in August. But most pressing is the 28th of February deadline, when Greece's existing rescue deal expires. Forget the numbers for a moment, because the real wild card here is confidence. If Savers calls a run on Greece's banks, a default could follow, and an exit from the Eurozone becomes a real risk. Even if we don't agree on the political <coughs> way forward, can we do some practical work on what the issues are and how big the differences are? A high-stakes game for sure, but who exactly has the winning hand? Greece wants to throw away its existing bailout, end austerity, and instead agree to a new deal. But the other countries are willing to call Greece's bluff. We were at one and saying that um, this uh, deliberation needs to be continued in the framework of the ministers of finance. In the meantime, everyone is keeping their cards close to their chest. Nina Dos Santos, CNN, London.